So the unique security challenge that the Olympic Games presented to the United Kingdom uh, was based on scope and scale, so the sheer size of the, of the um, uh, Olympic Games. Um, my initial requirement uh, was to understand um, at a high level what the key elements of the security uh, and safety and resilience needed to be, and then to be able to look into more detail into those security requirements so we could identify the organisations, the information exchange requirements uh, and uh, the memorandum of understanding that we needed to put in place between those organisations. Okay, so two questions then. First of all, looking back, did you actually understand what was required at the beginning or did that emerge as you were going through the process? And the second question is, how many organisations were involved in the initial discussion and how many organisations were eventually brought on as part of the overall management team? To answer the first part of your question, no, we did not understand fully the scope and the scale uh, nor the complexity of the, um, of the safety and security need. Uh, and that was because uh, our security strategy was based on the UK's counter-terrorist strategy called CONTEST, uh, which was not quite fit for purpose for an event of the scope and scale of the Olympic Games. Um, the second uh, aspect to your question, or answer to your question, is that the Home Office, the UK government, kept the planning and preparation fairly close to its own um, uh, organisation. Uh, and therefore, initially the numbers of organisations and agencies involved in the planning and preparation were very small. 